it's uh, John Reed, JDOD, uh, TechEd Day 3. I've got a very interesting use case from KXEN, a new member of the SAP family due to acquisition. This is Bruno, you've been with uh, KXEN for a long time now. Yeah, I joined actually uh, KXEN in 2000, so a very yeah. long time indeed. And for those watching, we have a real life data scientist here. Uh, Bruno, you, you actually do have this background of statistical and predictive and yeah, Tell that, us about that. that, that that's my roots, right? So mm -hmm. I really have like a, a, a kind of a mathematical, statistical type of background. Yeah. And what I really enjoy is kind of trying to apply that to real life business problem rather than, you know, more like research type of things. And you were actually part of the team that worked on the acquisition with SAP. Were you worried you'd get swallowed up by SAP and us, uh, or was this a perfect fit? Well, perfect, I don't know. We never know. <laughs> right, I, I, yeah, will, yeah. I, I will know maybe Fair in a few point. months. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, I mean, the, the experience so far and, and during the process has been amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, what we were really excited and what we are really excited about is all this drive that there is in this space. I mean, with Anna, obviously, but all this drive around predictive. And right. And I mean, we didn't want to be, you know, like one other acquisition. What we wanted is being a part of really a story, a vision, and we think the vision is there, so it's very exciting. And you believe you can uh, bring predictive capabilities to SAP in a way that can expand it beyond just the data scientist realm, but to the average, typical BI user's needs and problems. Is that kind of your goal? Yeah, I mean, that's what we do. Okay. I mean, what we do is really that. Mm -hmm. so less about algorithms and yeah. m maybe like more advanced algorithm, which means that you don't talk about algorithm, you talk about the business problem. And right. when you do that, that means that traditional Bob G or Lumira customers right. are actually able to leverage predictive. Right, instead of trying to find people like you in the wild, which are hard to find these days. Exactly. Yeah, gotcha. Now tell us about the fit with HANA. You, you started working on HANA integration almost right away. Uh, through the SAP startup forum. So how did that come together? So, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we started with the startup forum probably about, I don't know, 18 months ago, something mm -hmm. like that. And what we saw is all this HANA wave. And obviously, as a, as a standalone vendor, we wanted to ride this wave. Yeah. And the, the startup forum really gave us this capability, right? The support, accessing the HANA yeah. uh, platform, and helping us also in the development of providing us guidance. Yeah. So which means that on day one of the acquisition, or even before the acquisition, we were yeah. already fully supporting HANA. Right, right. And at this point, you're now providing integration, so it's available to customers? Yeah, yep. I mean, this is, mm -hmm. uh, this, is, this is working, this is available. Uh, we will work further. I mean, mm -hmm. I, we are not saying There's it's perfect. There's more to add, yeah. Uh, but today, probably mm -hmm. about already 95% of our processing is mm -hmm. in database. So. And help us to understand what HANA brings to the table for this, this integration. Is it just the ability to really widen the scope of what you can analyze? Is that a key part of it? or? Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, uh, the key thing, the key thing about, about predictive is accessing information, right? right. Uh, and the fact that in HANA you can actually address or access transactional data as well as like analytical uh, data or traditional CRM data, okay, broaden the scope because it means we have more information and more information means that we can answer more questions and we can also be much more specific for, or, or for mm -hmm. each business question. Mm -hmm. And you think customers are gonna embrace this with open arms? I hope so. I mean, yeah. so, so far they are. Okay. I mean, uh, when we announced the acquisition uh, about a month ago, uh, I had customers coming to me and say, welcome to the family. Uh, cool. We really look forward to work with you. And that was actually incredible because it's nice. actually customers coming to you and say, yeah. welcome to the family. And you're, uh, you look at their budget, you're like, you're a customer. Yeah, yeah, welcome to the family. Cool. So it was great.